Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today iOS 4.3 has been released, and I just wanted to talk to you guys about that. So I have a post over here on my website, besttechinfo.com, and the title is iOS 4.3 for iPhone, iPad, and iPod Touch and jailbreak info. So iOS 4.3 has been released today. Now I strongly advise against updating to iOS 4.3, especially for unlockers, because as I've mentioned before, it permanently updates your baseband and that results in a locked iPhone, meaning you cannot unlock your iPhone until the iPhone dev team releases the next unlock for that baseband. However, if you are a jailbreaker and you're only interested in jailbreaking your iDevice, you can update to 4.3 to check it out. Uh, you will obviously lose your jailbreak, but as long as you have your SHSH files backed up on 4.2.1, you will still be able to downgrade and re-jailbreak on iOS 4.2.1 with something like Green Poison. Now, I will have a video down below that shows you guys how to back up your SHSH files so you will know if they're backed up or not. Another quick way to tell is to go into Cydia and see if it says that at the very top. Like for instance, it should say SHSH files backed up four and then it should say the firmwares. So iOS 4.3 doesn't really change much. I'm just going to go over the features really quick. So you get multitasking gestures. However, it's for iPad developers only at the moment. So that could change in the future. Uh, you get the personal hotspot feature for GSM iPhone 4s only because uh, it does not work for the iPhone 3G or 3GS. You get AirPlay support for third-party applications, subscription-based app support for the App Store. You get Nitro JavaScript Engine for Safari, which just improves any and all things related to JavaScript. And you get the ability to change the function of the iPad side switch between orientation lock and mute and it also brings some new iTunes home sharing features nothing big though and the iPad 2 will obviously gain FaceTime support GarageBand photo booth and more and there have also been numerous uh, system-wide improvements and changes as well so you can go ahead and click this link right here to go ahead and be taken to this website where you can download your firmware and for instance if you're on the iPod touch fourth generation you can just click that and click download so I'm not going to really go into it too much right now, but there have been dozens of unconfirmed reports that all point to the fact that we will not see an untethered jailbreak for iOS 4.3 for quite some time. Now that is what I said in my article that I wrote yesterday and also in my video that I made yesterday as well. And the reason why is because the iPhone dev team likes to actually save the exploits so they can use them for future devices. So I hope you guys like this video. Please let me know what you think down below in the comment section and also be sure to rate it up. And again, if you are a unlocker or you have used some sort of custom firmware to either jailbreak your iDevice or just preserve your baseband, then you must not update. Otherwise, you will be locked out and you will not be able to unlock your iPhone. So again, I hope you guys like this video. This is ACU signing out. Thanks for watching. You're now at the selection menu for the end of this video. You can go ahead and click over on the left hand side to be taken to my ICU ID channel. There I make videos that do not have the time to get posted onto this channel or just other videos that I decide to post on that channel instead. Uh, I will also be answering questions weekly over there, any questions that you guys have related to jailbreaking, and that's why there is a mail icon to the right of the ICU ID name. You can go ahead and click on that mail icon to go ahead and compose a message and send it to my ICU ID channel, and hopefully I will get to answering it in my next weekly help video on that channel. Now on the right hand side is my IC Vlogs channel, and you can go ahead and click over there for great daily vlogs, and I also update my viewers with just different news on that channel as well. So I'm going to go ahead and give you some time to decide what you want to do. Again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.